Why hello my little subjects, my name is King Wolf Owl, and welcome to Evo Land. Um, I've been debating playing this game on the channel for a while, and I'm a little bit too low energy to record the things I was supposed to record tonight, which involve a lot of voices and yelling. Um, so we're gonna hop into Evo Land, a very, very interesting game. What this is basically, it's gonna evolve as we play it. It starts as this little, uh, 8-bit game where you can only go to the right and now I go to the left and now I have 2D movement and now I have basic scrolling and now I have sound effects now I have smoother scrolling I prefer basic scrolling personally but that's fine Now I have a sword, and the sound effect definitely wasn't in any way, shape, or form related to another game. Monsters! I feel like I remember there being a secret somewhere. I have played part of this game, not a ton of it, though. I always get to a certain point, like, very early on, where I'm just like, eh. But we'll see if we get through it, uh, together. Ah, uh, so yeah, I remember... You got the Octorok, a new card to play for Double Twin. Because of course it has to have a card game, it's an RPG. And hit start. Alright, and now we can move forward. Yeah, this game just kind of evolves as you play it. Um, I don't know how far it evolves, or like what all gets added by the end of it. Um, because I've never gotten to the end of it. I don't know how long it is, but there is a number two, so we'll get into that eventually as well. And now we have music. Save points. Look at that. 16 color display. Color! I kind of preferred it before they added it. I actually really like the, like, 8-bit black and white. Boop. I got a star. And a bat. New card to play Double Twin. I don't remember how to play Double Twin, but we'll find out eventually. Okay, now we picked up a bunch of stuff. Boop. Saved. <laughs> and even I, on instinct, did that. Game saved, you're safe. Evil Land, a short story of the adventure video game evolution. After centuries of peace, an ancient evil has finally resurfaced to threaten the world of Evolandia. You are one of the few remaining members of the Order of the Dragon Knights, whose purpose is to travel the world and help the needy and fight evil. The centuries of peace clearly mean you haven't had a whole lot to do recently, but it looks like business is picking up again. <laughs> you got a storyline! I was really trying hard not to yawn into the mic while that was going. Not because this game boring me, but because I'm very tired. It is currently 1.48 a.m. and I tried recording three other things before I settled on Evo Land and none of those three games work. You got 256 color display. It's almost real graphics, isn't it? Nope, I prefer... Actually, you know what? I do prefer this over the previous, but I do like the first the best. Boop. Sign panel. The path is reserved for agile adventurers. Ah, oh, see, I can't go through there yet. Because I only have a specific set of movement. That's foreshadowing. Free movement. Uh, Ask has been blocked by the dimensional stone. Try the path to the east. Not the dimensional stone. I have free movement, so now I can... Boom, 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 boom. Look at that. Save. 
Man, these enemies definitely aren't ripped straight from Legend of Zelda at all. Path unlocked. Inventory. Look at that. Now there is a couple secret places. Not here. Somewhere. Oh, maybe I have to get the chest and stuff first. I'll grab this one. One of these unlocks monsters on the overworld. Yep. There we go. Oh, slime easy. Sick. It was really da- it looked really dangerous when it was introduced. That's funny. You die. I don't know how much health you have. Oh, we're good. Alright, well, I know there's extra bonus places we'll have to get to later. You got places name. You'll learn the name of the places you travel to. The meadow. Right here? No, I think it's on the other side of the, the, other side of the town. We have to, like, go around. Slime, die! Ow. Die! think I've ever died there. Uh, which one is my save? Hold up. Uh-oh. Which one of these is my save? Yes, this one. Did it auto save? I don't think there's supposed to be auto save yet. Weird. Unless this is a previous save from the last time I opened this game and then just gave up on it immediately. <laughs> hey, either way. We got a treasure. You got village! Why do villages always have the such annoying music? First off, that's not true. Objectively not true. Not all villages have annoying music. You can now freely invade people's privacy. Sick! Hello! You got innkeeper, a nice bed's waiting for you at a decent price. Well, I don't have a decent price. I have four. Actually, do I have money? 55 out of 100. Um, does that fully heal me, though? Oh, save my game, please. Yeah, that fully heals me. Sick. Right, where's the chest that lets me kill the villagers? Shopkeep! Mr. Shopkeep! Give sorry, the National Sword Association does not does now does now allow us to sell weapons to children yet. There might have been a typo there. Also yet? So you're working on a permit to sell the children. Doors locked, maybe there's something in there. Yeah. Um, not yet. At least someone to talk to, or not. Sorry, I don't speak to children. Well, la di da. I got the torque.
Uh, stop bothering me, go play with the other children. There are no other children. They're all dead. I mean, they don't exist yet. Alright, I think I had to go into the well. I'm pretty sure I go into the well, turn into an adult. Because that's how RPGs work. And then I come out and everyone's like, oh, we're best friends. Don't speak to children. Well, I'm going in your house. This is the shop. You win this you win this day, good sir. What are you doing here? Children should go to bed. If you're a nice if you're not a nice boy, the evil Kefka's ghost will come and eat you. Well that Kefka sounds like he sucks. You got a secret place, what the hell are you doing in this place? Um crying. Yeah! Woo! What's up with all the kids in video games anyway? There should be, yep, star. Oh no, it's a card. All right, cool. All right, now that I am an adult, let me go speak with the other adults and maybe gamble, question mark? I heard a lot of strange sounds coming out of the North Caves. Uh, a girl visited us early. Is she a friend of yours? I don't know what you're talking about. Welcome to Papunika Village. Please enjoy your stay with us. Sir, would you like to sell me weapons? Long sword. Phoenix down? Can they do that? So, so are they allowed to do that? They can just call it a Phoenix down? Wait, is it called a Phoenix down in Final Fantasy or is it a Phoenix up? My brain's broken. Don't talk to me. Adults are not funny. They always complain about us children. If I could only eat the growth seed, I would no longer be a child. But the seed I found is falling down the well. I'm too scared to get it back. It's too dark down there. Too bad. I already ate it. Alright. Well, I need to move on from Papunika Village. Crystal Caves to the north are a dangerous place. It says Kafka's ghost lives there. But no adventurers ever come back to tell us. I'll tell ya. Alright, nothing in here but privacy to invade. Uh, quite strong monsters in the caves ahead. Well, we won't let you pass with your current equipment. Okay, so I have to go grind levels now. And probably buy a longsword. Would be my assumption, since I bought armor already. Uh, uh, uh. And slice. I get money off a of beaten thing, right? Oh yeah, it's that up top. 50. That seems like a lot. I mean, I'm glad I don't have to freaking sit here and grind a ton. Let's just keep beating up things for a second. Hey, could you not? Thank you. I should definitely have enough for the sword. Do I have enough to... take a nap in the village, though? Also, does the sword do more damage? Can I just use that to grind then? I can sell potions. Oh, 
Sorry. Do I have enough? I wasn't even paying attention to how much gliss I have. How much does it have to stay here? Bam. Oh, only 10. Perfect. Which also means I definitely have nearly enough to get that, uh... Oh, no, I wanted to save. Crap. We're gonna stay at the thing just to save again. We're gonna spend the thing, Liz. That's fine. Do be what it is. Is be what it do. Do be what it are. Are be what it is. Arby's. We got the meat. Sir, I have a new sword. Will you let me through now? I need to stab things in the forehead. Thank you. We're gonna go this way. Whee! Horse fight. Oh no! I heard someone calling for help. Looks like she got attacked by these monsters. Whee! Thank you for saving me from those monsters. By the way, my name is... Uh, we'll just leave you... No, I... Actually, uh, we will name you, uh, Fox. Why not? That's my default female name. Usually it's Fox Dove and Wolf Owl. There's a fun fact for you. If I make a female character in a game for whatever reason, it's usually, uh, Fox Dove. Instead of Wolf Owl. Why? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. There we go. The Hidden Meadow. I knew there was a thing. And I just don't know what's over here. Other than that hole in the ground. Which I might have to jump into. I got a slime. A slime to play double twin. I just got an achievement. I found the hidden cave. Ow. I just don't remember if there's any actually anything important in here or if it's just a thing you can do. Ah, there's two of them now. I heal so much more than you can damage. Sick. Infinite money glitch. Perfect. Crazy how there was nothing down that one path, like at all. That's crazy, actually. I hate that. Oh, there was probably money in one of those barrels for the boxes, which I tried clicking on. It didn't do anything. I don't know. Well, oh well. Oh, man, no, now I have to walk all the way back down there. It's gonna bother me if I don't now. On the bright side, we're getting a ton of money, which I can use to buy, uh, just, like, armor up and stuff in the next town, if they got it, I'm assuming. Yeah, potion. Excuse me, sir. Why do you always get to go first? I hate you. Invasion of the Undead Cats by E. Schrodinger, an Amazon bestseller. Sick. I got that box already, didn't I? Question mark? And done. 
All right, we're just gonna make it to the next town. Because I think there's another important upgrade happening soon. Oh, you suck. Okay. Eleven damage is enough to kill you. What? Okay. I'll take it, I guess. Oh, no, it's a cave first. It's a full, like, cave thing first. That's fine, though. Yep, I gotta go through the crystal caves first. We need to find the crystal. Its power that can change your perception of the world. And with it, you can fight the evil that threatens my village. By the way, I just noticed I forgot to ask your name. Uh, it is... Oh? Bam. The girl's finally noticing you're an actual human being. Sweet. Cave monsters. Uh-oh! Hello. Dick. <laughs> yeah, by the time we're at the next town, we'll have so much. Honestly, I'm tempted to go back to the other town just to buy, like, the rare card and stuff now that we definitely have the money for it. Okay, sick. Okay, sick! Thank you. I want to die. Heck yeah, take two damage, idiot. Okay. Alright, can I not fight any of those anymore? Okay. Okay. Get pooped on. Oh, now I can gain them. Now I can get stronger. Thank you. That's all I ever wanted. Life fountain. And save game. Perfect timing, actually, because we're just about at time. All right. The Evil Land's going to be one of those games that I play kind of inconsistently, probably. Just when I feel like playing it, we'll hop into it. Um, unless you guys want to see it as a regular upload, and then I can work it into the schedule and move something else around. We'll figure it out. For now, though, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Be good, people. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.